What is going on guys? Welcome, welcome, happy Thursday. It is almost the weekend, time to do some flying. Welcome back to the channel, welcome aboard today guys. As always, Tavi checking in. We are live here once again in Microsoft Flight Simulator on the VATSIM network today as usual. Hope you guys are having an awesome week. It's almost the weekend, so good vibes all across the board today Friday Eve so I hope you guys are doing well uh, we are back where we left off on Tuesday stream here in Westport I think uh, I was calling it Westgate for whatever reason probably because I live in Vegas now but uh, Westport uh, New Zealand so continuing our New Zealand ops this week Got the very small terminal building here that we checked out on Tuesday. And this is part of World Update 12 Zealand. So that is why we are rocking these trips this week. Uh, back in the BBJ, the PMDG 737-700 uh, BBJ, the beauty herself. Um, so yeah, we're uh, at Westport Beach Airport in New Zealand. Uh, we are heading up to Fongari. I was pronouncing it completely wrong on Tuesday. Uh, Fongari Airport looks like Wangari, but it is pronounced Fongari. And I'm going through the terminal. Uh, so that is the plan today. Another, uh, both airports were included in the World Update 12 Zealand. Uh, so another included airport that we're gonna check out today. Uh, it's gonna get very interesting with the approach into Fungary because it's only about 36, 3,700 feet of runway. So we're gonna have to plant her down today. Um, so it should be a fun one coming in uh, to that approach. So we will have to tighten up the seat belts on the approach today so that is the plan we got we got an hour 11 minutes in the air up to Fongari and there goes our intro song we get that off iTunes you can go off cool um, so yeah we got an hour 11 minutes in the air uh, we got 25 packs 1400 pounds of cargo and luggage 12,300 pounds of fuel. So that is the plan for today. It is nice and beautiful here in New Zealand. It's still morning in New Zealand, so um, we'll be rocking live time, live weather, all that good stuff today. Uh, weather should be fine. Um, I feel like it's been pretty nice here, loading up, uh, checking things out uh, for World Update 12. So no weather so all should be well. So I'm ready to do some flying with you guys. Thank you all for tuning in and hanging out with us today. Appreciate you guys for stopping by and uh, happy to have you for today's stream and chat. Looks like we got Shelton already on board with us. Hello, Shelton. Appreciate the support. Thanks so much for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Good to see you. Hope you are doing well. Appreciate the support too. Glad you are enjoying the content and uh, look forward to have you on board with us. Um, so yeah, appreciate you guys stopping by today and hanging out with us as always. It is always appreciated. Um, and if you guys are watching live, please do say hello in the chat or if you're watching the stream replay, drop us a comment below. Um, and if you guys do enjoy today's stream and want to show your support to the channel, please do smash the like and subscribe buttons. We greatly appreciate it and it is always a huge help to the channel. 
Uh, we do live stream weekly here on Microsoft Flight Simulator on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. So if you hit the notification bell, you guys won't miss anything, any new uploads. You'll be notified, all that good stuff. So let's jump in. Let's do some flying, shall we? Get out of drone. We already got the maintenance crew here getting us set up here. So the crew is in the house. Um, let's see, we need some checklists, make sure I'm staying on track here. It's been a while since we did the BBJ ops. So let's go battery on and we'll go F1 fuel pump on for the APU start. APU is starting. Cute. And we'll go outside, listen to her startup. It is absolutely gorgeous here in New Zealand. Love it. APU's fired up. Let's go APU gins. One and two. And we'll get the APU bleed on. Let's go down two. Whoops. Come on, camera. Uh, we'll get 122.8 for Unicom. There's no coverage in uh, New Zealand as of right now. Anyway, so we'll be on the VATSIM Unicom for now. It's walking 2000. Oh, ATC1 set on the transponder. Shelton, you work at the Kansas City Airport. Nice. Oh, yeah, you get a front front row view working at the airport. Which airport is it? Uh, is it Kansas City International Airport that you work at? Cool, cool stuff. Uh, what else we got? Well, our flight plan, we're already connected to V-Pilot and that sim, so that's good to go. Uh, let's get some packs on. Boom, set the auto. What's the temp today? Plus 15, it's nice and warm here. Nice and beautiful. So we'll get the temps down a little bit. <coughs> Yeah, we'll do about 65-ish. Should be good in the cabin and cockpit. Uh, let's go hydraulic pumps both on. Boom. Emergency exit lights armed. Let's go seatbelts auto. Chime auto. The 10 button just for fun. And we'll line the nav per use. Cool. Let's check the throttles. One. And our oxygen button. Love that sound. Cool. Let's call up the. Let's see. We'll call the potable water dude to get the fuel requested. We need 12.3 today. Boom. Set our target. Hopefully, I don't forget to let him actually start fueling like I forgot last time. Nice, Shelton. Kansas City International. Awesome. It's been a while since we've flown into Kansas City in the, on stream, but maybe we will have to uh, get a trip scheduled back in your area here soon. I think I do have a... the oh, I forget the name of it. There's an executive airport there in Kansas City that I have a scenery for. Uh, it's really nice. Small, small airport, but Pretty cool little scenery, so might have to fly there pretty soon. Baker, what's going on? Good to see you. 
Finally around for another live. Hey, appreciate it, brother. Welcome aboard. Good to see you. Happy f almost Friday. Hope you're having an awesome week. Uh, hope you're well. Welcome aboard, brother. Good to see you. Cool. So, he's ready to start fueling. So, I'll let him do his thing. Cool. Let's hit, uh, just going to hit B. Reset the altimeter. It's like 3019. Good to go. <clears throat> Uh, what else we got? Let's go up top, actually. MCP, we'll go. Airport, data, traffic, FPV buttons on. First officer side, we'll go center button twice, traffic button once. <clears throat> uh, Shelton, is it the uh, New City Airport in Kansas? No, it's... um. Actually, let me see if I can let me see if I can pull up that scenery real quick. I totally blank on the name. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I think it's Kansas City. I could be wrong. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, it is uh, Olith, Kansas. Yes, K O J C Johnson County Executive Airport. Yeah, this is the uh, freeware scenery that I do have for that airport. It's been on my um, airport list to get us to fly through. Um, so hopefully soon we can get it scheduled, but it's definitely on my must-fly list. Um, just a ton of detail for you know such a small, small airport, and it's an executive airport. You know, we usually do the. We like to stick to the executive ops here on the channel. So, yes, that is definitely on the list, my friend. Cool. All right, so fuel is rocking and rolling. Um, oh, yes, and there was a... Uh, what's it called? Uh, nav data <clears throat> update today. So if you guys have not... Uh, updated your air rack there was a nav data update today um, so make sure you guys update that I always try to make a habit of checking that because I never know when we get those updates so we're good there on nav data up to date let's go past in it we are at NZWS Westport and we'll go next page, copy our left GPS, and paste. <clears throat> Let's go route, paste that, and we're going to NZ, oops, NZWR, right? Yes. Cool. And depart. Arriving, we are departing. Well, let's see. <clears throat> Let's pull up our charts. Let's go navigraph. What do we got for weather today? Open airport, weather. Ah, I forgot. There is no weather for uh, these airports for some reason, at least the smaller ones. Um, I think we're at WS, right? Yeah. So I'll just use getmetar.com, which is Windsor 48048 at 6. So we'll be going runway 4. Cool. And we'll move you out of the way until we need you. So let's go runway 4. And we do have the SID today. The Cake 1, Papa. And let's go to part arriving. Arriving, we're going to do, I think it's runway six. Actually, let me double check the METAR. Let's see, NZWR. Winds are 190 at one, so pretty calm. So I think the only RNAV is runway six, so we'll just plan for that. Where is it? Yeah, we're gonna, it's gonna get extra, 
extra spicy on this landing today. 3,600 feet. I think the shortest runway I've landed on is 4,000 feet before. So we are going to have a extra fun approach today. All seat belts fully engaged. Um, let's see. Cool. So let's just set our approach now. Set approach. Runway, let's see, RNAV 6, yes. Um, let's see. RNAV 6, let's see, Leech. Could probably just go Omana transition. Yeah, let's just do that. Omana transition. Oh, SF, that VOR, is going to take us off track a little bit, but we'll probably just go direct once we get a little closer to it. So, RNAV 6 via Omana, let's go route, next page, and enter our fixes. So, we are Airway, Quebec, 1-9 or 7 after the SID. Direct November Sierra and then H two fifty two Airway <clears throat> then direct November Papa November Pop then H three eighty four H three eight four Airway and then Alpha Alpha <clears throat> then H three seven nine Airway and then SF, Sierra Fox, VOR. Cool. No discons. We'll activate, execute. And let's check our route. See how she's looking. Go plan mode. And let's go legs. <coughs> and let's pop through here. Step through. Got the SID really quick short uh, SID and we are on our way north rolling north all our airways all looks good the Sierra Fox VOR which is kind of going to take us off core uh, off track a little bit let's see <clears throat> What's the missed approach say? <clears throat> yeah, should probably just go leech, direct leech, instead of uh, the Springfield VOR. Um, so a mana and then leech, right? Oh, there's a hold. We're going to get rid of that hold. Let's just move you up. Execute. So leech should go. Uh, let's see here, right? Let's see. Let's go back. Step. Oh, I was going to take this out. Let's just go direct leech. Try this again. Leech, then Omana, just move you up, execute, Leech, Omana, cool. So it's the Leech transition then, not the uh, change, let's go Leech transition, and we'll get rid of Sierra Fox, just go direct the leech. Yeah, that looks better. <clears throat> Two. Um, let's see. Baker, you bought this plane months ago, still haven't learned it. Hey, take your time, man. There's tons of uh, real-world pilots on, on YouTube that have, um, you know, some beginner, you know, first starting out um, tutorials or either live streams that um, 
can walk you through everything. Um, if not my videos, um, I try to stick to, um, you know, my own, uh, checklist that I've gotten from other real world pilots on, uh, YouTube that fly the seven three in, in uh, the real world. So tons of good, um, content out there to learn from. So let me know if, uh, if I can help at all, but, um, yeah, take your time. There's a lot to learn, but, um, it's, it's a really fun airplane for sure. So good, good stuff. All right. So our routes looking good. What else we got? Let's go back down cost index. So in it rep page and we got 34 on the cost index today. We got for reserves 4.8. And we got zero fuel weights going to be 102.8. Boom. And we're going to cruise at oh, was that 330. Yeah, 33,000 feet today. Execute that. In one limit. Uh, I think we've got another shorter runway today. Taking off 4,200 feet. So <clears throat> we'll go full rocket boosters today. No D rate on takeoff. We need all the power we can get to get us up the ground. CG 23.8, that looks good. The flaps 5, V speeds, groovy. Set our V2, that's 138. 138. And trim was 4.5 ish. Let's set the trim. Boom, 4.5. Trim set. Let's set our cruise speed for today. Mach 0.81, because we got places to be. Cruise as fast as we can. And let's go 300 knots on the descent and 250 knots under 10,000 feet. That's going to do all its calculations. Cool beans. Let's go FMC progress page on FO side Q and keep it moving let's go up top window heats yaw damper all on rest of our fuel pumps on for startup and back down here let's set our RTO and reset the fuel fro probably because he should be done fueling Yes, he's good to go. So we will let him go and a pot of water ground crew go. And we can reset our fuel flow now. Boom. Uh, let's set our heading and altitude. So let's just go runway heading for departure as we usually do. 034. Oh, three, four. And the SID. No restrictions, it doesn't look like. I don't think so. Zero, three, zero to 500. Turn left to Kakit. No, I don't think there's any. No restrictions. So we're good there. Cool. So we'll just go up straight up to 330 for our cruise today. 330. Boom. We'll go up top, set our cruise up top as well for pressurization. 330. And then what do we got for landing out to elevation today? Uh, touchdown 50, is it, is it 50 feet or is it 133? Elevation's 133, okay, so we'll do 150, call it 150, Q, that is good. Uh, let's get you guys on board. Let's get those fancy SUVs rolling in. Go menu, FS actions, ground services. Uh, PAX SUVs, 
I should be coming in on this side. Driving through the terminal casually. Cute. Looks like we have brownies on board. Charles Johnson on board. What is going on, guys? Good to see you both. Welcome aboard. Happy Thursday. Happy almost Friday. Good to see you both. Hope you guys are having a good one. Hope you're having a good week. Welcome, welcome you both. All right, you guys are just in time to get on the bird. So we got 25 packs today. So we'll start loading the packs and we got 1400 pounds of bags and luggage. So we'll get that all loaded. Cool. Cool. Good stuff. So yes, we are continuing the Zealand Ops this week uh, on the VATSIM network. It's pretty quiet down here on VATSIM. Um, haven't seen really any ATC coverage yet so far. Um, but other than that, it is absolutely gorgeous out in Zealand. And we are right off the coast, off the water, where we landed and arrived on Tuesday's live stream. We got boats, all kind of stuff out here. And they actually moved too. See this guy's moving, he looks like maybe a coast guard or a fishing boat. He's moving too. So some pretty cool updates with uh, World Update 12. Got some more animations. Uh, World Update 12, New Zealand. So, it has been awesome so far. Hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Charles is doing Renton to Chicago. Nice. I still need to pick up that uh, that awesome Renton scenery. I've been dragging my feet on that. Very cool. Renton to my old hometown. Good stuff, Charles. Are you taking the BBJ or are you doing... Uh, commercial <clears throat> uh, let's jump back in I think we should be loaded yeah bags are loaded front and back packs are loaded uh, we'll just hit uh, get the chocks removed and that should clear all the ground crew yep got the maintenance guys taking off as well as the PAX SUVs. Cool. The BBJ, of course. Yeah, just just got to. The plane just works. It's just the queen. Gotta have it. Can't go wrong with the BBJ. You just can't. All right, let's go doors. Air stairs and doors. Door. Baker, you need a recommendation for your flight tonight. Let's see. Oh man, there's so many good, so many good sceneries. Uh, I don't know if you picked up the new uh, Phoenix International scenery. There was a new uh, Phoenix scenery that just came out. Uh, I forget the developers, uh, but that just released. Uh, I think a few days ago. Uh, if you don't have that, uh, let me let me think about it. Let's see. Have you guys got any recommendations for Baker too uh, for a flight? Uh, let, let us know in the chat. Uh, but yeah, we can think about it. Uh, we can all shoot some ideas. Um, let's see. <clears throat> let's jump back in. Uh, we need. Let's see. 
Beacon. Beacon going on. And we need packs to go off. For engine start, we'll set the right igniter. And we'll set number two to ground. And get her spooling. We'll intro the fuel at 25% in two. There's 20. There's 25. Let's go outside for startup. Let's jump back in here. Cool. Start switch is good. Start number one. Same deal. She's rolling. She's alive. Intro fuel at N2 25%. Charles, you picked up the scenery, the uh, Phoenix this morning. Well worth it. Awesome. I've yet to pick it up, but I'm planning on it. There's 25%. And she's spooling. Jump back in. Starter switch should be good to go. Yep, we're at 20%. Uh, let's go back up top, get the gins on. Gin one, gin two. And get you guys in the flight deck with me so you guys can see what's going on. Cool. Uh, what else we got? APU can go off. So I've got a bunch of buttons mapped on my yoke and throttle quadrant. In case you guys were wondering why I'm not pushing anything. Uh, start switches can go continuous. Uh, we got the probe heats. We'll get those on. And packs can go back on. ISO valve auto set. And APU bleed can go off. Get the Gen 1 up top on the DC amps cool and we'll set flaps five for takeoff as normal uh, we'll get our engine system buttons on and do a control check up down lefty and righty right rudder full left rudder good to go let's get our tara traffic on and set that's good to go. And we'll go flight directors on, auto throttle, armed. Uh, we'll get the terrain radar on. And we'll go, oops, VNAV. Should have LNAV with the SID. And we do. Beautiful. And let's go parking brake off. And taxi lights can go on. All right, so we're gonna back taxi. Let's grab our chart here. We should be the only bird out here. Yep, looks like it. Cool. 
All right, let's do it. Let's do some flying. Spool them up. And we're out of here, Westport. It's been real. It's got a massive terminal. <laughs> One little building. Love it. All righty. Westport traffic, Boeing 5 to off the back taxi, runway 04, Westport. Cool, so back taxi, so let's get lit up. Let's go landing lights, wing lights, strobes, on for departure. Charles said uh, Phoenix to San Diego. Nice route, about an hour, uh, and nice approach. Yes, I would definitely second that. Uh, San Diego is always a fun one. I still have yet to get the ocean approach uh, coming in on the opposite runway for San Diego. I usually get the, what is it? Runway, it's either runway, it's runway 27. I think. But that's a fun one too, though. Coming in from uh, downtown side. You're just like hovering over all of the houses and vegetation, all that good stuff. So, yeah. San Diego is always fun. Or I guess if, Baker, if you have a region that you were thinking about. Um, but yeah, you can't go wrong with Phoenix to San Diego. Bum, 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 bum. All right, spin her around here and get out of here. We are right next to the water. All right, see, see how my turning is. Still can't get used to the new steering with the PMDG. It's not my favorite. It's like I have to hold the left brake to make a solid turn. It's pretty goofy. Alright. Let's go center line, center it up. All right, let's go clock on. And Westport traffic, going 5 to off, taking off way 04 to the north. Westport traffic. Hold the brakes, spool them up to 40 and stabilize. She's spooling. There's 40%. Toyo, let's go. Power is set, we're rolling. Short runway. Alive. Check. Rocket boosters. Gonna need them. Double check. Let's rotate quickly. That was the end of the runway. <laughs> Positive rate of climb. Gear is coming up. Double tap brakes. And I'll start a left turn. Follow the flight director. Come on, left turn. There we go. There we go. Nice. Get the nose down. Smooth sailing. There's climb power, let's go flaps one. Let's go command A a little early. There we go. Autopilot did not uh, have any bugs this go around. And 4,000 feet, let's go flaps clean. Let's get some range. Beautiful. 
5,000 feet and climbing. Let's go after takeoff. Let's go gear lever. Can go off. RTO. Off. And we'll go standard a little early. 250 knots on the climb. And we are cruising right down the coast. Nice. Keep an eye up front real quick, 7,500 feet already. Yeah, we're sweet sailing. Yeah, Tuesday, I think it was just sim update 12, threw off the automation a little bit with autopilot. It usually, usually throws off the PMDG, so Looks like she's good to go today, so we're good. Cool. All right, let's get the light deck cam out of the way so you guys can enjoy some of these wing views. Uh, we're at 10,000 feet now, picking up 288 for our climb above 10,000. Let's go landing lights off, taxi lights off, and start switches off. Cool. Enjoy some of this coastline while we can. Let's see, get you out of the way here. Mark our GPS. Cruising. Good stuff. Baker might do uh, sunset in the Honda Jet. Yes, that sounds that sounds awesome for the West Coast. If you do do like Phoenix to San Diego, that will be that will be gorgeous as well, my friend. I'm trying to think where else. I'm trying to think of some other sceneries uh, that are new. Oh, that one scared me. <laughs> that was a that was a close one. Yikes. Yeah, New Zealand's New Zealand is pretty sweet. It it really is. You can fly from the north end of New Zealand to the south end in like two hours. Which is what pretty much what we're gonna be doing on Sunday's uh, live stream. Uh, so we'll be flying from where we're landing today, which is pretty much the north north part of the North Island, and then we'll be flying all the way south down to uh, Queenstown. So let's see. Vongari is where we're headed today. And as you can see, this is pretty much the end of the North Island, and we're going to be pretty much right at the north end of it. So we'll be flying from there all the way down to the South Island, Queenstown, which is, I want to say right here. Yeah. Yep. So I think that flight will be just, just about two hours. So Sunday will be sweet. So if you guys can make it for Sunday stream, we'll get a whole, uh, whole flyover of all of New Zealand so should be super fun and the the approach into Queenstown uh, is actually pretty sweet through the through the mountains yeah Baker yep yeah the approach is is awesome like going through the mountains in between them right down to the runway it's pretty awesome I actually did try the approach uh, was it last week for the first time I had actually never never really even flown into uh, in or around New Zealand and yeah I didn't realize that Queenstown was part of the like the base package of Microsoft Flight Sim 
So I'm like, oh, there's already a, a handcrafted airport included uh, in Queenstown. So absolutely can't wait for it. Sunday will be a good one. Cool. Let's see. Where is our... Did I already change our approach? Yeah, I did. Yep. Okay, cool. So we should be set up all good here. Actually, let's jump up front real quick. Let's see, we're at 24,000 feet. Get the terrain radar off. 24, we got 9,000 to go. Why don't we get some of these mountain views in while we can? The drone cam might be a little loud, but I'll move the camera back. So it's not so intense. There we go, it's probably a little bit better, not so loud. Some uh, beautiful mountains here in New Zealand, that is for sure. Uh, Baker, I do have the turbulence setting on realistic, yes. My plane was like on a trampoline yesterday. Oh wow. Yeah, I do have it. Uh, do have it set on uh, on realistic. I haven't really noticed much of a change. That's probably because I'm flying the the BBJ. I think the BBJ can handle a lot of turbulence, whereas the longitude or flying the longitude, um, it just got really really bouncy with the turbulence. So. I would imagine if you're flying like the Honda Jet 2, it's probably gonna probably gonna get pretty intense. There's the contrails, nice. You digging the livery baker? Yes, I am loving this one as well. This one we have not flown yet. Yeah, this whole week, um, all liveries we have not flown yet. Which this one is from flightsim.to as well. Which we'll go over that at cruise. Loving the white and gray for sure. Ah, uh, you were in the 320 and it was crazy. Really interesting. I would have thought the the 320 could could handle uh, a lot of turbulence too. Oh yeah, she's a beaut. Definitely digging this 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 livery. Loving it. Absolutely. Let's see if we can find some mountains. There they are. Sweet. Tube. Uh, let's see, we're at 31,000. Let's get some tubes going a little early. Why not? Music, music. And there's our cruise. Coming in ever so slowly. Nice. Let's go in the back with you guys. Flying in style back here. Loving it. Phew. Alright, well, speaking of liveries, let's pull her up. Oh, Sunday's livery is going to be pretty sweet, too. Another new uh, favorite of mine. Uh, but we'll have to wait until Sunday to see it. 
Uh, where is last downloaded? Is it this one? No, that's not it. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, I think it's this one. Yes, here it is. So, courtesy of JLSA55, shout out to this developer. A very nice, clean BBJ livery for sure, light gray. Absolutely love it. It's only two pictures. VQBTA. VQBTA aircraft. Is it not? Let's see, is it real? This is real world pictures. Yeah, Malaire Aviation. Let's see, is this a real world one? Uh, community request. No. Oh, nice. So somebody requested this one. Cool. Let's go outside so you guys can see it. I'll have it pulled up. Um, so, yeah. Uh, free livery on flightsim.to. If you guys want to pick this one up, huge shout out to JLSA55 for the development on this one. Very clean, very, very nice livery. Indeed. Love the little, like, slash uh, slashes on it, too. Sweet. So if you guys just search Blair Aviation PMDG on lightsim.to should be the first one that comes up. Um, I was trying to see if this was a uh, real world plane. Looks like maybe they got a maybe they changed the livery. Maybe this was the old livery. There's the interior. That's pretty sweet. Now nah, I want to see the. Want to see the interior on this bad boy. So I wonder if they repainted it. If that was a gold. Let's see if there's any other. Interior picks. Flight deck, nice. Is there a HUD? I didn't see if there was a HUD. Uh, can I not tell? There might be one. I feel like I can't tell, really. I don't know if that's the HUD or not. It's an entry door. There we go. Some interior picks. You guys can see that. You guys can see that. It's not too small. Nice. A little dated. <laughs> but still a luxurious. There's a bedroom in the back, probably. Nice. So cool, so spacious, luxurious. Yeah, dated, but that's super fancy for being dated. <laughs> cool, nice exterior. Yeah, I wonder if they just uh, if they repainted it. Cool. So yeah, that is our livery for today. I wish we had some uh, some screenshots of the World Update New Zealand airports, but those are kind of few far in between if we do, uh, if they do have them online. 
camera's crooked. Cool. Bum, bum, bum. I'll see if I can can't find some. Yeah, Baker, there's a ton, there's a bunch of uh, really awesome BBJ liveries on on flight sim Batio. Tons of them. Let's jump back in here. Cool. Bum, bum, bum. Sweet. Don't have time for the the seven three right now, Baker. Yeah, it's all good, man. These these birds aren't going anywhere. You know, whenever you do get some time, there's there's a bunch of uh, awesome YouTubers that have either live streams or tutorials on the the PMDG seven three. So it's not going anywhere, brother. It's all good. It is all good. And PMDG is coming out with, you know, the triple seven, the max, seven, seven, all that good stuff too. So got plenty of time, plenty, plenty of time. Bum, bum. Let me see if I can't pull up the Bangari. I was pronouncing that airport name. Today's arrival airport, way wrong. It's actually pronounced Bangari. I was I thought it was Wangari. It is pronounced Hongari. So learn something new every day. This airport's <laughs> runway is so short. It's gonna be we're going to be coming in extra hot today. Bum, 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 bum. Looks like somebody else is flying in as well. Cute. We'll probably take up half the ramp with the BBJ. <coughs> bum, bum, bum. All right, let me see if I can't find it. Uh, um, looks like there's a YouTube video. It in case there's music on it. So this is where we're heading. Oops. So shout out to Tony Real Travel. I hope he doesn't mind us checking out the Bungary Airport fly around. Yeah, you just uploaded this two weeks ago, so. World Update 12. Ready to rock and roll. Yeah, there's the ramp. I think this is like the main ramp. And then you got... I think this is where we're going to park. This uh, little GA ramp next to the terminal. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. I actually loaded in there, and there's a live whale that was, uh, I think it's off the opposite runway we'll be landing at, but there's a, there's an animated whale out in the water, so pretty sweet. 
I wonder if you can see it from his video. Let's see, he hasn't turned around yet. Let's see if he goes back toward the airport. Looks like he's landing in the water. There we go. I think it's on this side. I wonder if we can see it. I wonder if he he noticed it at all too. Yeah, Baker, there's a there's an animated whale in the water. It's like out here, I wanna say. Like by these like somewhere over here. Off of the um, what would that be? The the east runway. It's out there in the water, it just like jumps out and just kind of does the same animation, but it like jumps out of the water. We'll see if we can, uh, we'll take the drone camera. Don't let me forget uh, when we land, we can take the drone camera out and uh, see if we can find the, the whale. Yeah, it's just off the other runway. What's that? I think so we'll be coming in runway two six but yeah small little GA airport I'm not actually sure if the there is like a small terminal so I'm assuming only these are probably just like turbo props that fly in here. Yeah, it looks like that's where he's he's heading into. This is like the main ramp right here. Pretty small, but still handcrafted. Little terminal area. It's pretty cool. Nice golf cart. Nice. Yeah, it's even got the air stairs. Let's see what else he does. Oh, now he's taking the drone cam. Cool. That looks like the tower, maybe. This is a little terminal here. You got the rolling stairs. Yeah, Baker, we're rolling up. We're going to take up half the ramp. <laughs> but I think we're going to park in this, in this tiny little... Uh, ramp if we can fit in there we'll try to squeeze we got all the GA hangers and stuff down here some nice ground clutter looks good oh here's an aerial shot nice yeah so we land in runway 6 but that whale is out off of 2 4 somewhere if I remember correctly Right off the water. Love it. Looks good. I think that's 2 4. I think the whale is out here somewhere. Bum, bum. Uh, that's it. So cool. Couldn't find any screenshots of the airport, but. Shout out to. Oh, if I could get this off the screen. Nice. Tony World Travel on YouTube. Looks like he does some other uh, fly arounds at some other airports, so. Awesome stuff. Bum, 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 bum. You have to see the whale now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't let me forget. I will definitely take the drone. Take the drone out uh, after we land. Oh, look at this giant we're missing out. Sweet. Look at that. That is awesome. That is sweet. Let's see if we can 
find this uh, that mountain on the world update trailer I do not know what that mountain is actually have it muted That is pretty sweet, though. And this video is on the Xbox YouTube channel. The uh, New Zealand World Update trailer. Bow, bow, bow. Hole in the Rock, North Island. Nice. This is where we're flying today, actually. Yep, there's the little terminal ramp. And the runway in the back. That's where we'll be. Bungary on the North Island. Wait, let's go outside. Oops. Pause that real quick. Gotta check out this mountain from the outside. Where is it? Where'd she go? Oh, it's way down here. Whoa. Just leave the drone cam out here. <clears throat> Check out the New Zealand trailer. Can't remember if this that mountain is part of the was in the trailer or not. No, it wasn't that one. Rotorua, that's where we took off on Tuesday. That airport. Another cool airport. There, is it that one? Mount. I'm gonna butcher that. Rua Peu? Probably not even how you sound, pronounce it. Uh, is that it? If that's it. Let's rewind it real quick. No, I don't think that's it. Yeah, I've already butchered today's arrival airport. <laughs> Wangari, it's Wangari. It's completely off. <clears throat> yeah, but that is massive. Crazy huge. So cool. Wellington. Farewell Spit South Island. Some more South Island. You would think that would be in there just because it's so massive out by itself. Westport, that's where we took off from today. There's the, uh, that like car cargo ship or march. Uh, that moves in and out of the canal here, and that's the runway right there. That's the west port. Nice key lifts. Price Church, South Island. Tika Po Airport. I think that was one of the included airports that was a little too small for us to fly into. And there's Queenstown. We'll be flying into Queenstown on Sunday. So that'll be a fun one. Can't wait. Sky's calling always. Really updates. No well, thank you. <coughs> see if I can't try to Google. Mm -hmm. 
mounts. Oh, here we go. Another, another big one. Let's jump back inside. Jump back in the window. Check out the coast. Uh, what is it? Mount Taranaki? No, Tara or Taranaki. Yeah, I think this one's it. Pretty sure that was it. That is straight gorge. Yeah, because it had the, the snow cap on it. Just like that. That is pretty sweet. Yep, that is it. That's what we saw. Bum, 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 bum. Just a little bit ago. Just past it. Mount Taranaki in New Zealand. That is crazy big. Check out that view. That's insane. These are like uh, computer backgrounds, wallpaper worthy. That is sweet. Look at that. Doesn't even look real. All right, now we know what that mountain was. Mount Aranaki Mountain in New Zealand. That's sweet. Good stuff. Love it. That was not in the trailer though for... Uh, there she's way back there now. Mount Taranaki. Sweet! Delevator, how's it going? It is going well, my friend. Welcome to the stream. Happy Thursday. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome aboard. We are actually probably just getting ready to start our descent. We got 90 miles till our top of drop. And we're just obsessing over the giant mountain <laughs> behind us in New Zealand. But welcome aboard, brother. Appreciate you jumping in the stream and chat with us. Let us jump up front. And let's see. Yeah, we got 88 miles till top of drop. Oops, go legs page. Two. Uh, let's see. Let's double check our weather. Four. Um, what is it? Bungary. Not to be confused confused with Wangary. It's actually pronounced Fungary. I'm glad I looked that up. Because to just completely keep butchering that, I can only imagine if somebody came across my stream from New Zealand. They would be embarrassed for me. Delvader, I nailed your, your name. Oh, really? <laughs> nice. I'm terrible with name pronunciations. I was mispronouncing our arrival airport, Wangari, on the last stream, and it's come to find out it's Fungary, so yeah, I'm uh, notorious for pronouncing stuff wrong, but glad I got it right. Welcome aboard, brother. Good to see you. Cool. Um, so let's see. I don't think the... I feel like the weather has not been loading for... Yeah, no METAR. So let's go back to Google Chrome and let's go to where's Mitar? Get Mitar.com and we need NZWR. Uh, yeah, we are on the Batsim. Yep, it's super quiet on Batsim in New Zealand. I have not seen any coverage uh, so far. Um, today or Tuesday's live stream, it is. We go to Batastic. I mean, it's super quiet. So we, yeah, we're we're on. Uh, we are on Batsim on on Unicom, but 
let's see if we can zoom in the coverage. This is all of New Zealand. Uh, come on, map. Why does it keep disappearing? There's us right here. And there's our airport. And as you can see, I mean, there's probably, there's only like a handful of uh, airports people are even flying to. So it's it's super quiet, but yeah, we are in Batson. Extra chill out in New Zealand. Uh, winds are 141 at 1, so I mean, pretty much calm. So we'll stick to, what was it, runway 6. Temperature is 19 Celsius, so that's good to go. Scattered clouds. Hopefully it's still pretty clear, because uh, this approach is going to get gnarly with only 3,600 feet. Yeah, yeah, it can get boring sometimes, but I figured this week we would just check out um, all the new uh, airports that came with World Update 12 uh, New Zealand. Um, and then next week we'll get back at it probably in the States um, where it's usually a lot, a lot busier, but Oh yeah, always always hanging in chat. Appreciate you jumping in and killing time with us. Much appreciated. Cool. All right, so we're still gonna plan for what was it, RNAV six. Let's go in it button. We're gonna go flaps forty landing. Flaps. 40, speed 120. Uh, let's see, our final course is going to be. Let's see, what is it? RNAV 6, 0, 3, 2. So let's pop that in. Both sides. Boom. Still need to get over there and check it out. I haven't left the US. Yeah, I honestly haven't flown much out of the US either um, on Batsim just because I'm still pretty new uh, to Batsim. So I know in like Europe, Batsim is a madhouse and there's you know different flying rules and all that stuff. So yeah, I, um, I love New Zealand. It's definitely more of, you know, just a, like a scenic more scenic flying than uh, really bats him uh, but yep I hear you on that one I'm I think we've only flown out of the, the country of uh, the US uh, on, on the live stream probably maybe a handful of times just because I'm I'm in the same boat still getting familiar with uh, with bat sim and all that good stuff but it's not going anywhere, so no rush, you know? Uh, let's see, our minimums. Looks like LNAV 680, that's set here. Bum, bum, bum. Six eighty. And 680 set on the barrow. Let's set up our fixes for the approach so we can configure. We'll do approach ring at 15 out, approach ring at 10 miles out, and approach ring at 5 miles out. Let's just make sure. Let's go plan mode. Make sure that uh, popped in there for us. Yes, cool. Awesome. Good to go. Let's go back to map. And since there's no ATC, we'll set our bottom altitude to, this would be 
runway elevation to 130, so we'll just go 100. All the way down to 100. Still, we're going to try to understand what these controllers say in clear English. Don't need someone with a crazy accent telling me what to do. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> right? That's like a whole nother uh, problem of being new to, to VATSIM. Just trying to multitask. <laughs> trying to multitask for one, then taking in the direction, and then taking in direction with, with an accent can be, can be a handful. Absolutely. I hear you on that one. I wish there was more coverage on the West Coast uh, for VATSIM. I know, like, the East Coast is... Uh, I try to stay away from the East Coast just because it, it's just kind of crazy, at least for the live streams. Otherwise, we'll just be sitting there waiting for an hour to either get uh, clearance or to even leave the airport. <laughs> so I try to stay away from the East Coast on live streams. Just uh, it's usually a packed house. So we'll set our heading to our final course to 032. Still learning the PMDG2. Uh, for some reason during the approach, it looks like my master on the FD on the flight director goes to the first officer. Any ideas on what I'm doing wrong? Um, trying to make make sure I understand your question. For some reason during the approach, it looks like my master on the flight director goes to the first officer. Um. So you mean your your flight director is only only on on the on the FO side? Is that what you mean? Just trying to make sure I understand the the question. Um, stay away from the northeast. Too much going on there. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, southeast on the east coast isn't doesn't get too bad as as far as the or as bad as the north northeast goes but i feel like if you're gonna fly or if, if we would fly on the stream to the northeast we would just have to fly into there not out of there i feel like flying out of the east coast northeast is is always always tricky just trying to get off the ground don't touch anything really, the flight director stays on both sides, but it will flip from the captain to the FO during the approach. I don't know what's up with it. That is interesting. I have not run into that. I wonder if... Do you notice it if you push anything on the approach? I'm wondering if something oddly like is configured to your hardware or something that would cause that I think that's the only thing I can think of like if your hardware for whatever reason has the one of the flight directors mapped to a button maybe on accident I don't know that's so that's so weird flight director stays on both sides but it will flip from captain to the FO during the approach I guess it would either be a hardware thing might be mapped to something or oh man it, I guess it could be something in the, the setup I don't know if there's anything as far as the flight director goes in like the, the settings you know what I mean um I don't think there is. I don't remember ever seeing a a flight director like 
settings within the the PMDG aircraft settings or anything like that. Um, like auto probe heat. Like I don't know if there's an auto flight director. Right? You know? I don't know. It's so I've not heard that before. Headrest. That's just the headrest. Yoke checklist. First officer. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe are you? I, um, I would definitely check with the. Um, check on the I'd throw it into the the PMDG discord um, if you're part of the, the PMD, PMDG discord um, I wonder if anybody's come across that or might have a quick fix that's interesting I, I have not come across that one yet gonna stream soon awesome brother have a have a safe and fun stream my friend appreciate you stopping by yeah, I would definitely check, um, throw the question in the PMDG Discord and see if, uh, see if maybe one of those guys uh, might have a, a quick fix for you. Try to keep track on what it causes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Let me know. Let me know for sure. Uh, we're going 10 knots, a little over speed here. Cool, so we're already descending into Bungary. Need to be at 300 knots or about 310. There we go. Cool. Let's keep going through our checklist here. Bottom altitude set. All that good stuff. Altimeter. Let's see what I come up with. Have a good one. Look on the landing. Appreciate it, my friend. Yes. We got 3,600 feet of runway, so I'm not sure if there'll be any butter on it, to be honest. <laughs> we got to get her down quick, but appreciate it, man. Have a good stream, and uh, we will catch you later. Cool. Um, let's see. Altimeter. We need altimeter. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see if I can get the METAR again. Scattered clouds. Winds 120 at 2. Temperatures 20 Celsius. Uh, let's see. See if we can do a converter. Boom, boom. Thirty seventeen. I'm gonna go thirty eighteen. Let's set her up. Uh, whoops, thirty you guys can see that. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go 3018. Uh, does Windy, Windy.com have weather for this airport? I wonder if it does. Probably not. Nope. Come on. Windy.com. Let's see if I can do this. Bum, 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 bum. Let's reset our camera. Yeah, I think 318 will be good. So let's get her 3018 set, and we need to be a lot lower. I think that plane that was landing has already landed, yeah. So it should just be us at the old port. Leave our approach chart up here. Let's 
Uh, Charles, yeah, the I did try that. Um, oh, we're already 10,000 feet. Should be at 250. Um, I think I did try that. Yeah, the METAR, METAR is not working for a bunch of airports in in uh, New Zealand for whatever reason. I don't even think Sim Toolkit Pro will load it either. Nope. I don't think Microsoft, I've tried Microsoft in-game weather METAR. That hasn't been working either. There's 250. So we're at 10,000 feet. Why are we not descending? There we go. 17 miles we need to be at... What do we need to be at? Uh, come on, tablet. I'm going to reload. Nope. All right. So 10,000 feet to... We need to... Landing lights, taxi, runway, turnoffs, all on. Start switches continuous. We're gonna go auto brake set to three. We're gonna need all we can get today. Probably could go max, but I'll just hammer the manual brakes. <clears throat> uh, let's load our replay. Come on. Wow, Fly Life Studio progress bar is actually working today. What do you know? <clears throat> Let's actually pause the jams here, too. Cool. Fongery traffic. Going back to off the inbound. Runway 6. Fongery. Bum, 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 bum. 4,200 feet and 12 miles. Cool. Speed brakes. Speed brake. Let's be armed. There we go. We're good there. We're at 10,000 feet. Already got our lights on. Whoa. I hate those long stutters. Always scares the crap out of me. <coughs> See the countryside here in New Zealand. Looking nice. Love it. So green. Awesome. Cute. All right, we're still looking good on the path. Good to go. 24 miles out from the runway. 220 at 7, Charles. Thank you. Appreciate it. <clears throat> so kind of landing with the wind. Interesting. Get Metar was saying it was like what, 140 at two. That could have been. I guess it could have been old. All good. Oh, I guess I could get it from. Does Vatastic work? It says 110 at three. Q and 1022. It's all good. We should be going. Should be fine. So I'm assuming, yeah, the airport's over here. I think it's this little island piece right here. Cool. Oh, need to get you guys in the flight deck. What am I doing? Cool. Ryanair, try to butter. I will try my best, my friend. We got 3,600 feet of runway to put this beast of a BBJ down. So let's go flaps one. We're going to try our best, my friend, but it could get pretty spicy. Slow her down to 170. Let's get some speed brakes. 
I need to not forget to record the replay as well. Need to be above 3,200 feet. Our mana. Our next fix. And we already are, so we're good. Our terrain. Terrain radar on. Some little hills out here. There's 170. Speed brakes are in and armed. QH 1022. Thank you, Charles. I think I just I just converted it to inches. Um, but I appreciate it. Appreciate it, brother. Let's go flaps five. Might get configured a little early for this approach too, just because we are gonna be short on a runway today. Our shortest runway to date in the BBJ. It is nice we do have like you know kind of straight in approach. Twenty five hundred. Checked. Cool. Flaps five, ten miles out, we're good. 150 knots coming in. And we'll hit record at about uh, about five miles out. Ah, oh, where's our runway? This is our runway. Barely see it. And we'll also go HUD today. Try to use this on the short shorter runways keep us from 2500 taking a dip in the water <clears throat> 2500 let's go gear a little early flaps 15 coming in yeah it does look like the approach is a little offset All right, let's do it. Let's see what we got. Might take us out. I feel like we should round this turn a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. Hungry traffic, going five to off a five mile final. Runway six, hungry. Let's go, my bird. And let's round her out a little bit. Let's keep the nose up. Let's go, flaps 25. Coming out. Yeah, I can just barely see the runway lights. So just kind of keeping the flight path vector rings just above that runway. Cool, four and a half out. Let's go flaps full. And we'll start rounding our turn here. Yeah, let's go five miles on the range. We're looking good. Let's go my throttles. All the throttles off. All right, let's see what we got. I think our trim is super high. Yeah, the nose is just stuck in the air. Yeah, I feel like we're a little high too. 
1,000. Let's watch our speed. Oh, yeah. Terrain. We're a little high. Let's get the terrain. Turn that off. Hopefully, it doesn't keep barking at us. Approaching minimums. 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 Continue. Let's not overshoot it. Five hundred. All right. Here we go. Everybody's seat belts fasten ever so tightly. Three hundred. See what we got. Let's get her down. One hundred. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Get her down. There we go. Pop the buckets. Burn the brakes. All the brakes. Gonna need them. Nice. There we go. Stopped on a dime. Love it. Welcome to Vongari, guys. Made it. One piece. Stop the clock. And we'll pull a Yui. Oh, let's not run off the runway here. Come, Come on. That actually went a lot better than I imagined it was going to. Way better. I will take it. And we didn't record the landing. <laughs> no! Oh, I knew I was forgetting something. I was overcompensating for the <laughs> short runway. I knew he was forgetting some we were forgetting something. Shoot. Ah oh, man. Well, shoot well let's just do this we gotta we gotta find the whale anyway we gotta find the whale that was included with this uh with this update just outside the airport so we'll do that sorry guys i knew i was forgetting something let's get the apu started and actually you know what we'll just park where should we park? We'll park in this little corner here. Let's go speed brakes up. All lights can go off. We will squeeze ourselves in this little corner here. Right behind this little guy. Let's see if we can't uh, get the probes off. Swing her around. Come on, we can do it. There we go. Cool. Cool. That's good. Boom. Let's go parking brake is set. Uh, let's double check some checks here. Let's get the camera out of the way. Uh, what do we got? Uh, let's see. We got the probes are off. We're good there. Uh, lights, flaps, spoilers, all that good stuff is off. Uh, we can... Stop our, whoops, come on. Two off, let's go. Sim Toolkit Pro, what was the landing? Minus 315, really? 
thought that was actually pretty smooth. We'll go finish flight, mark it as stream, and we'll click OK. Yeah, I thought that was thought that was actually pretty pretty smooth. It it does it does seem like the sim. Nice, got her down right before the markers. The sim freezes right at touchdown, so that's probably why it gets thrown off. Oh, Baker, did the landing rate pop up on the screen? I never see it. It only does it in, like, on OBS um, for, for the Fly Live Studios, uh, what we use for the, the overlay. So I never actually see it on my screen. It only pops up on, on the live stream itself. So cool. We'll take that. We'll take uh, one, uh, 198. Start switches can go off. Thought we turned the probes off. On. Oh, they were off. Yes. Cool. Uh, so we got the auto brake, all that stuff is off. Start switches, probe heats are good. APU, just need the gins. Gen 1, Gen 2, and we'll go uh, APU bleed on. And let's spool her down. Uh, one and two. Beacon off. Coop. Let us set the chocks. We'll get the maintenance dude out here, and we'll get some iTunes action. Yeah, I'll have to watch the end of the stream uh, tonight and see uh, if it did indeed pop up on the screen. I wish it would pop up on my screen too, but it's only on OBS and the live stream itself, so... Oh, you did rewind it? Nice. Cool. 196. I'll take it. Yeah, I was like, 315? That didn't seem as brutal as 315, but... Cool, let's jump back inside real quick, run through some more checks, get her buttoned up, and then we'll take the drone cam out to the Wata. Yeah, and I feel like the... the terrain... Um callouts have been kind of obnoxious lately. I don't know if that's was part of the PMDG update or uh, Sim Update 12, if it's just like more sensitive, or I've just been picking gnarlier airports. I don't know. I don't know, but cool. Let's go up top. We'll get the three Amigos fuel pumps off. We'll leave after one on. And we'll get the yaw damper window heats all off as well as the hydraulic pumps one and two those are off iso valve open and we'll get our transponder off cool uh let's call up the ground crew we'll get the lab guy in here and we will call the PAX truck. Let's reset you, why don't we? They're pulling up. Is my beacon still on? thought I turned it off. Oh no, it's off. And let's get the doors open. Cool. Whole crew is here. Bum, 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 bum. The one buttery landing that should have been recorded. Ah, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. It's literally on my checklist, too, to start the replay. <laughs> I was hyper-focused on that 
teeny tiny runway. All right, cool. Let's jump back in. We'll get uh, we'll get you guys the VIPs unloaded here first before uh, we head out to find our whale friend out in the water. Bum 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 bum. Turn you back on, I guess. Yeah, that is a bummer, Baker. I do apologize. I think that's literally the first time I forgot to record a landing. And hopefully my last. Cool, we're getting the packs off. We got the lab guy here doing the crappy job, literally. Um, and then we will head out to find our little new animated friend we got here in Hungary. Cool, bags are off. Packs are just about off. Yeah, I guess the only way to see the landing is watching the stream back, unfortunately. But would have been sweet um, with like the drone camera from the ground. Uh, but stuff happens. All good, all good, all good. I will be extra sure that does not happen on Sunday. <laughs> oh yeah. SUVs released. We'll get you guys the VIPs out of here and on your way. And as they depart, let's run over to where I saw that whale. Now he's over here somewhere. If you guys want to load in here and check him out. NZWR is the airport identifier. And I want to say it was like out here somewhere. There he is, going right at him. I knew it. There he is. Where is he at? There he is. Nice. <laughs> I think it's just this one. He's the only one. I think he comes up in different spots, but yeah, he's right off of, uh, was it runway six? No, two, four, the opposite runway. Hello. There he is. Free Willy. Cool. Pretty sweet. So yeah, if you guys are coming in on what would that be? Two, four. Oh, sweet. And there's even like, look at these uh, approach lights out in the water. I wonder if that's what it's for. These, uh, these approach lights here. That's pretty sweet. Nice detail. Yep. I think there's one more. Or is it just two? No, it's just those two approach lights, but still, it's pretty sweet. So yeah, some little additions to uh, some extras to World uh, Update 12. You got the moving boats as well at Westport where we just uh, took off today. You got uh, our new whale homie here. So yeah, pretty sweet. Good, good stuff. Let's head back over to the airport. Get a nice little aerial view here. Definitely a cool little airport to fly in and out of. Hopefully we can make it off the runway on in time <laughs> on Sunday to get down to Queenstown. Let's slow the camera down a little bit. Cool. So we are hogging the ramp space here in Hungary, New Zealand. This was a fun one. Again, I do apologize on the replay. 
I was too hyperly focused on <laughs> this approach. <laughs> um, but it happens. It is all good. But hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. This one was a blast. Uh, definitely looking forward to Sunday, heading down to Queenstown, New Zealand, where we will finish off our New Zealand Ops Week. Um, checking out the New Zealand World Update 12 additions that were included in that update. So some awesome, awesome stuff. Thanks again to you guys for flying and hanging out with us today. This one was extra fun. I uh, appreciate you guys for being on board with us. Baker, thanks so much for riding with us today. Brownies, good to see you. Charles Johnson, thanks so much for joining us and hopping on stream of chat with us. Uh, Ryan Air, thank you, my friend. I did try to butter it. I think I did a lot better than I expected. So we got we got some butter to take home with us today. Uh, Delevator, thanks so much for swinging by, my friend. You had a good stream today. Um, yeah, guys, jump over to Delevator's uh, stream. Um, he is going live as well today. Um, so jump over and check him out. Uh, thanks so much for swinging by and flying with us, brother. Uh, who else was here with us today? Brownies, I think I already got you. Good to see you. As always, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, Shelton Ponder, thank you as well for joining. And we will have to get out to uh, Kansas and uh, fly into Kansas City to see you here in the simulator. Uh, but yes, thank you guys for flying with us again. We will be back on Sunday. Uh, let's see. What is Sunday? Sunday is the 26th. Yes. Uh, Sunday, March 26th. Uh, we'll be going live from here, Hungary Airport. Um, and we will we'll be live at 12, uh, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Sunday. So it'll be a definitely a fun one to close out um, the New Zealand Ops this week and checking out all the new sceneries and airports and just the, the beauty of New Zealand and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, Sunday, we'll be back 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Fungary down to Queenstown, New Zealand. So you won't want to miss that approach. It's going to be another fun, fun approach into Queenstown. So if you guys did enjoy today's stream and want to show your support to the channel, please, please do smash the like and subscribe buttons. Always appreciate the support and it is always such a huge help to the channel and much, much appreciated. And we do go live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Uh, so if you guys do hit the notification bell, you will not miss any uploads and all that good stuff. Um, also listed some of my favorite uh, past live streams. Uh, if you guys want to check them out, they're in the video description below. And uh, check out some of the other sceneries, airplanes, liveries, all that good stuff. Routes that we've flown here in the simulator. Uh, they are listed below in the video description. Absolutely. See you guys Sunday. Yes. Yes, indeed, Baker. Cool. Alrighty. Again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys flying with us today. This was an absolute blast. We will see you guys for some more fun on Sunday here in New Zealand uh, at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Until then, everybody have an amazing weekend. Tomorrow is Friday. Payday for some of us. So good, good stuff all around. Alrighty, guys. I will catch you guys on Sunday. Later, guys. See ya. Peace.